Ryan, that's right. And we see evidence of that damage all around us from these trees and branches lining the street to these piles of debris in front of people's homes. But some people are still choosing to stay inside those damaged homes because they say they're afraid of looting. The sheriff's office tells us they have added patrols in the areas that were hit the hardest. Workers with Polk County began picking up debris at the beginning of the week, but the people who live here say they have their work cut out for them. We've been at it for four days now, unloading uh, all the debris from the backyard. They say this all happened in a matter of seconds, and they had virtually no warning. I was uh, snoozing, but my wife and son and my grandmother were awake, and they they were scared and they was in the closet praying and stuff. And he was asleep and I went to get him out of bed. Willie and Janet Estridge are burning some of that debris in their backyard. They spent the day salvaging what they can. Cleaning up, that's about it. Hoping we can get this thing done in the next two or three days. And get something else planned on where we're going to go and what we're going to do. Janet says their home is uninhabitable. What's well, next for you? What's next is... Uh, Getting out, <laughs> getting this all straightened out and get back to a normal, see if there's a, such a thing. The new normal, the new normal, yeah. There is no normal anymore, I don't think, not after this. It's just a different kind of normal. A representative with the American Red Cross tells me 10 homes were destroyed by the tornadoes. They say an additional 49 have what they call major damage and 100 homes have some kind of impact. As for the county, they're going to try to take care of these debris piles by the end of the week.